So, my tank is green, and I don't understand what is happening. Help me. Let me show you. So if your tank is green, which is a very common issue, the best thing to use is a UV sterilizer, and we're gonna talk about why. If your tank is green and a little cloudy, it's most likely an algae bloom. Algae blooms are very common and normal. They're not gonna hurt anything, but it may be an eyesore to you. So my all-time favorite thing, and what I highly recommend here at OSA, is to get a UV sterilizer. If you have a tank in a room that's got big bright windows, or it's right near a window, and you really can't move it, because it's pretty tough to move your tank, then a UV sterilizer is gonna be the choice for you. So I like UVs because they're safe. There's really nothing that can go wrong with a UV sterilizer. With other chemicals like um, algicides, you can typically, if you overdose them, you can have a catastrophe. So, you know, they work, but you just have to be very careful with them. They lower oxygen content and they can ultimately cause issues in the aquarium. So I suggest a UV. They're great for multiple different reasons. We're gonna talk about all those reasons today. We have two sizes of UV sterilizers here at OSA. We have the 9 watt and the 18 watt available. I love these UVs because they're internal, which means that you can put them just right in your tank, you can hide them behind a plant, or you can put it in your sump if you have sump filtration. They're very simple, it's just a plug-in and it works and you don't have to worry about it again for about eight months. So the UV does start to be non-effective after about eight months to a year if you're using it consistently. So that's one very important thing is you wanna make sure you're replacing that UV bulb when the time is up. But the awesome thing about UV sterilizers is you can use them intermittently, which means you really don't have to have it running 24 seven like a filter or a heater. You could just run it while you have an issue and then you could unplug it and save its bulb life by just using it when you need it. If your tank is in a very bright room, you may have to run it all of the time. But if you're just using it for a sudden algae issue that you're having or an ick issue, for example, then you could only just run it while you need it. So going back to the ick issue, you can actually use these for parasites too, which is fantastic. These will actually kill any free floating pathogens or parasites that are floating in the aquarium and get rid of them. So these are really effective against bacterial infections, parasitic infections and algae. So the way this works is it has a pump inside that pulls the water through and these ones specifically have a tube to water contact which means that it's not going through a sleeve it's actually getting direct contact which is uh, full sterilization. So it pulls it through and then it pumps it back out and that sterilizer doesn't necessarily kill the algae or the bacteria or the ick but it sterilizes it which means that it can't reproduce any longer. So usually within two to three days your algae issue will go away and your ick issue may go away as well. So I highly suggest everyone pick up UV sterilizer whether you have a green water tank or not. They're just great to have. It's like having a filter or a heater. You should also just get a UV sterilizer too. So come on into OSA, Wakefield, Coventry, or Seekonk and pick yours up today or order it on osachoice.com. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV and you know what to do. Keep it fresh, baby.